How very much I've loved you. How very much I've tried my best to give you the good life. But in spite of all of that I've tried, a handful of our people with their lives have made our life impossible. There's no way to detach ourselves from what's happened today. This next scout mission is to go find the mass grave memorial of Jonestown. For those of you who don't know, Jonestown's massacre is the mass suicide that took place in Guyana under the cult leader named Jim Jones. Now, this event happened in 1978. Many of you watching this weren't even born yet, including myself. I wasn't born yet. However, it's good to visit these things. If you don't know history, you're bound to repeat it. Now, this scout mission requires me to fly to California. The mass gravesite memorial is located in Oakland. That is because Jim Jones Temple, its headquarters, was in San Francisco. When the FBI shipped the bodies from Guyana back to the States, they decided to make the mass gravesite in Oakland. This mission will require us to take a plane. That's part of the job as a scout. Let's do it. Inside the plane on the way to San Francisco, I did my homework on Jonestown so that I could be more informed by the time I got to the memorial. And what I discovered was quite shocking on so many levels. First, as someone who is a founder of an app to create worlds, I was shocked to see that Jonestown was Jim Jones' attempt to create his own world using his followers. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he took them outside the United States and uh, had them all perish. But uh, the idea of creating a world on your own strikes me when I read it. Another thing that struck me was the fact that a congressman was killed during this incident. It's very unfortunate, but um, uh, Congressman Ryan uh, was killed during this Jonestown incident. It was not by poison. And I also found some cool street uh, origins that I would like to share with you. So the term drinking the Kool-Aid actually came from Jonestown. For those of you who don't know, Jonestown is the mass suicide that happened under the cult leader, Jim Jones. So the street term drinking the Kool-Aid actually came from the fact that when Jim Jones told his followers to drink poison on his behalf, he used Kool-Aid as a flavor aid because, you know, cyanide poison is quite bitter. And since then, that term drinking the Kool-Aid became a slang for saying you're just believing collective or dogma beliefs without question. I know it's kind of dark, but what can I say? The street is rough sometimes. So I'm on my way to Jonestown, and I'm really enjoying this experience where I get to walk in Oakland and find the Jonestown Mass gravesite while escaping my uh, terrible weather in New York City. I mean, uh, look how sunny it is outside. New York is uh, quite gloomy, and that's uh, that's kind of like a cool part of being a scout. You know, sometimes you escape your own city. You're not just uh, not just escaping the the, the routine. Anyway, one thing I wanted to share with you in regards to Jonestown on my way to this mass gravesite is this, that Jonestown, Jonestown was not purely a religious experiment. It was also an economic one. Uh, the cult leader, Jim Jones, he didn't necessarily believe in capitalism, and he wanted to prove that socialism works through Jonestown. Now, like every other socialist experiment before it, Jonestown failed. Uh, however, I wanted to mention this because I felt that in our times, especially within within the millennial community, I'm a millennial, uh, and I would argue Generation Z is quite similar. Generation Z is the one behind us. Uh, we have this belief that socialism can work. You know, oh, you know, we haven't tried it fully. And I think if you look at history, you will see that the socialist experiment has been tried over and over again, and it always fails. And Jonestown is just another drop in a bucket. And how Jonestown work is that the members work about eight to 10 hours a day, and they had no private property. Everything belonged to Jim Jones. And that's what usually, that's what people usually mean by socialism, right? Is that it's not that you don't work. It's not that there's not assets. It means that 
the assets are owned by a political elite, by the politically powerful. And in the case of Jonestown, it was Jim Jones. So Jim Jones owned everything, including the welfare checks that the cult members receive, the senior cult members receive from America. He would collect those welfare checks. I think anything close to $65,000 a month, he was collecting from, you know, the cult members' uh, welfare. And, you know, of course, since no one had any property, people didn't really maintain Jonestown because they didn't feel individually responsible for anything. They didn't own anything and they, they, they had no goal of bettering their lives. So Jonestown was just another failure in, in a mini socialist experiment. And I thought I'd mention it because, again, um, uh, it's not just covering a secret spot. It's covering their story and learning from history. So as a scout, don't forget that's your job. Don't just find secret spots. Find their story and share it with others. We're at the cemetery now. Let's go find where that gravesite is located. It's pretty big, so I'm a little scared that I might get lost, but who knows? Let's see what happens. So I'm now walking the cemetery, and uh, it's pretty big. Uh, so I walk, and I walk, and I walk. And finally, I encounter this man on a small powered vehicle. He's approaching me, so I start waving. And he gets to me, and uh, we exchange a few, uh, few information. Hey, uh, how are you? I'm fine. You? Uh, I'm doing good. I'm, uh, I'm looking for a Jonestown uh, memorial. You know, with oh, the, the, the okay. Jim Jones, where he it's killed. It's on the other side of the building. Okay, this building. Yeah, that building on the other side. Okay, so this building on the other side. On the other side, okay. you. You will see um, a circle fence over there. Okay, I'll see a circle. Yeah, circle fence is a... Uh, oh, uh, a circled one, fence, two, okay. Four flat stone right there. Okay, got it. Four yeah. flat stone or uh -huh. circled fence. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. And it's open all day? Open all day right there. All right, thank you. Yeah, okay, you're welcome. Have a good one. Okay. So I head towards the building and begin walking to the other side. And as I walk, I begin to notice these four plates the man on the powered vehicle had mentioned. And lo and behold, I'm at Jonestown Mass Grave Site. Now, I did find the site pretty beautiful. Despite being a mass grave site, I did find it beautiful. And the first thing I do is walk over to the center and see what the memorial had said. Uh, once I got there, I immediately pulled out my phone and loaded Cityscape and added it as a secret spot. I do feel like this mass grave site is a historical artifact and it is a secret spot worth visiting. And that's your first job as a scout is to find these secret spot and share it on a cityscape app to the scout life community so that other scouts could come verify it and you know enjoy for themselves and give you street cred for finding them. So after I've added the secret spot on a cityscape app, I uh, you know just walked around and looked at the names of those people who attempted to create a new world, a better world than the one we have now. Even though Joan Jonestown failed, I do think their attempt at creating a new world is still noble. And that's what Cityscape is all about, is about creating a community where people, you know, share secret spots and meet each other. Uh, we're creating our own world in a sense, but we don't have to fly to Guyana to do such a thing. So uh, I did find that pretty cool and worth mentioning. Although the Jim Jones experimentation failed, it does not mean we should stop trying to create new worlds. In fact, that's what Cityscape is about. Community organizers creating new worlds using a digital interface. You don't have to fly to Guyana or some remote location to organize a community. You could do it right here at home, and you could use a mobile phone to connect people as opposed to separate them. If you're interested in creating a new world, I really recommend you to download the Cityscape app and choose Create a New World option when you get to the World menu. You could also contact me at jameshitcityscape.com if you want more details into how to organize your own community. I'm here to help you. Anyway, that's it for this episode, guys. I'll see you next time. Scout Life.